Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Spioneer to your Shopify store in 2023. So we're delving into a topic which is crucial for your financial operations, connecting Pioneer to your Shopify store. So if you're ready to streamline your payments processes, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting Pioneer to your Shopify store in 2023. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access your Shopify dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to this URL section and basically here type Shopify dot com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of shopify.com if you don't know nothing about or if you don't know nothing about uh, shopify just scroll down here and read some information about it to familiarize yourself about it or to have a general idea about the website you'll see uh, some frequently asked questions what people saying about it some insights some small videos and etc to understand a bit about it and if you have an account go to the top right corner click on login into uh, to login into your account and if you don't have an account instead click on start free trial to create an account and then you will be offered a free trial for your every, for every store that you created you will have three days free trial for every store and you will have unlimited store that you can create but once the three days are over you your store will be inactive and of course you can create another one and you will get a three days free trial again and again of course, unless you go and get one of their plans, which is right here, you can post the video and check it all by your own, the prices, the features, the monthly and this yearly. And yeah, for me, I'll just go here and log in into my account. This will log me right into my store. I don't have to log in over and over because I've logged in recently. And yeah, here we start. So here now we are on our Shopify dashboard. What do we want to do, as we said, is simply connect to Pioneer as a payments process to our Shopify store. To do so, we'll have to go and access payments. Where are we going to find payments? Simply go to this left panel right here, go to the bottom and you will find settings right there. Go and click on that and this should take you in here. So simply in here on your store below, you'll find payments, go and click on that. And here as an example, you'll find the payments. So you'll find some additional payment like PayPal. You can add a payments method. As you can see, just search for whatever you want in here. So you can search by payments method. You can search by provider. And other than that, you will even uh, find like manual payments method you can add some as example like bank deposits money order cash on delivery cost, creates custom payments method and even uh, payments method customization you can even use this bogus gateway for testing as example so i used that yesterday i'll just deactivate this at the moment so yeah i guess that's it so what we will need to do is simply go and look for pioneer now if we go here and click on choose the provider we will have to look for pioneer so as you can see, we don't even have to look in here because as you can see, it's the further one in here, but you can simply go and look for Pioneer. As you can see, Pioneer Checkout Native Cards. So simply go and select that. And as you can see about Pioneer Checkout Native Card, uh, Checkout is designed to help you easily accept online payment directly on your website. We support 120 plus uh, currencies and popular payments method so you can serve your shoppers wherever they are in the world. So simply go and click on install. You can even contact the provider if you want to. But for me, I'll just go and click on install and this should take you into this option as an example to install the app of Pioneer. So this app needs access to view personal data, which is the store owner, like email name, email address, phone number, physical address, and of course, view and edit the store data if necessary, like payments getaway or payments sessions. So if you agree to that, just go and hit the install button. And we'll just wait for the app until it's installed. It should not take a lot of time, so just wait a moment. And as you can see, it's already installed. So you're not accepting payments with Pioneer Checkout Native Cards. Finish setting up your account with this provider to start accepting payments. So for me, if I go here and click on Manage Account, I'll have to go basically and log in. So let me change the language into English again. Yeah, here's it. So you basically, you'll have to go and sign in into your account once you click on Manage Account 
too, of course, connects your Pioneer account to your Shopify store. And about Pioneer checkout, like native cards, this is just what we read recently, so don't worry about that. And here, I'll just go and click on sign in to sign in into my account right away. So go here, enter the, your credentials, click on login. Your password has expired, just create a new one. So I'll just go and enter that. And here, I'll enter a new password as an example. And let's see, I guess that's cool. Okay, I'll have to confirm that password right here why not and click on set password and is it updated i guess it is click on update password in here so i don't have to do it again what's your uh, major during college uh, it was electronics i guess uh, electronics and optics so i'll just type electronics no need to enter everything not now i don't have to turn or i don't want to turn my uh, thing now so go to my account and as you can see now everything is set up if i go back in here i guess and if i refresh i'll go to payments and click on manage account again so they're telling me to log in again i don't know what the problem is so normally i'm already like logged in I just close all of that click on manage account click on sign in i'll see if i'll go through the sign in experience again Let's see, yeah, I guess everything is set up. I have just to set up my uh, Pioneer account. I did not set it up yet. That's why maybe they sell, uh, get it, giving me this. But let's see again. Yeah, it's sell have it, but it's fine. If you have any problem, of course, you can always go and contact the provider or even click on manage to manage everything. As you can see, wh while I click on that, they always take me to sign into my account. So if you have the same problem as me, you can click on uh, more actions contact provider and tell him what your problem is and you will be replied as soon as possible uh, normally this should not appear but if you get the same problem as me just go and contact the provider if everything goes as normal you already like connected your pioneer account as a payments method on your shopify store and you'll not get this message which is you're not accepting payments with pioneer check out native cards maybe it's because where my store is located or something like that but that's not the issue for us at the moment i showed you the steps you can uh, do what you gotta do after that and of course now you can simply go and make a test payment as example to ensure a seamless connection Pre uh, proceed then to test payment please test an order on your store to confirm that the payments are processed correctly through pioneer and after connecting pioneer regularly monitor your transactions and this will ensure that payments are successfully uh, working and yeah i guess that's it of course you can even explore some additional settings related to pioneer within shopify uh, payment section depending on your business needs you might find options to customize your checkout experience further and that's it so for you congratulations you've successfully connected pioneer to your shopify store so thank you for joining me today if you like the video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one and i'll see you in the next video